by adding dimensions, notes, and other types of details. These annotations communicate the different design information that you would need to manufacture the part or the assembly. I'll switch to the Annotation tab of the Command Manager, and here I'm able to add dimensions, notes, and more. The first kind of annotation I want to add to the drawing are dimensions. Since drawings, parts, and assemblies are all linked, the quickest way to add dimensions to a drawing is to directly import them from the 3D model. To do this, I'll select the Model Items icon to bring up the Model Items Property Manager. This feature allows you to automatically import many different aspects of your 3D model straight to the drawing. The first thing you have to do here is specify your source. You can import model information from just a single selected feature on the model or from the entire model. I'll choose the entire model as my source. If the box underneath the source dropdown is checked, SOLIDWORKS will automatically distribute the information between all of the available views. But if I clear it, you have the option to create annotations for specific views by specifying the destination views below. I'll leave the box checked and move on to the next set of options in the Property Manager. In the Dimensions area of the Property Manager, notice that I'm choosing to import dimensions that are marked for drawing but you can also import dimensions that are not marked for drawing, as well as instance and revolution counts or whole wizard profiles. If I scroll down the Property Manager, also notice that you can import annotations, reference geometry, and even include items from hidden features. As you can see, there are a lot of items you can import to your drawings. Right now, I'm just going to import the dimensions that are marked for the drawing into all of the views from the entire model and I'll click the green check to continue. As soon as I do, you can see that the drawing updates and some dimensions appear right away. Now, this is a pretty quick way to get basic dimensions into your model, but it also may require you to do some cleanup to make them more organized and easy to read. Cleaning up dimensions is very easy. You can simply move the dimensions by clicking and dragging them, then placing them anywhere on your sheet to make your drawing look the way you want it to. Notice that the dimensions can also snap to inference lines, just as they do with sketch entities. I'll take a moment to reorganize a few more dimensions. You can also choose to flip the dimension of the arrows by simply selecting the dimension and clicking on the arrows to flip their direction. I'm going to reposition these last couple dimensions here as well. Another feature that can be very convenient is being able to move and copy dimensions between views. To do this, you can hold the control key on your keyboard while clicking and dragging a dimension, as you can see here. If you need to delete a dimension, simply click on the dimension and press the delete key on your keyboard. You can also move a dimension from one view to the next by holding the shift button on your keyboard while clicking and dragging the dimension from view to view, as you see here. As you can see, there are many features that SOLIDWORKS provides that lets you import basic dimensions into your drawing and make it look just the way you want.